Hi everybody, um, it's Jen. I just wanted to do a quick update um, on a couple things. Um, first off, um, on my cycle, today I am CD15. Uh, it's actually 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I had a tremendously long day. Um, I uh, organized, <laughs> I don't know, I was in kind of a nesting, I guess you could say, um, kind of mood. So I organized and cleaned and just all day. So finally sitting down at, uh, it is 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so um, so today I am CD15. Um, as of yesterday, CD14, I still have yet to get a positive OPK. Um, my dog was just making a weird noise. But, um, yeah, so I, I haven't gotten a positive OPK, which today I was kind of concerned because I thought I would have gotten one by now, but I guess I looked back um, when I was on Clomid before and it actually made me owe late. Um, the latest that I've owed on Clomid I think was CD23. Um, and the earliest I think I owed was CD19. So I guess I shouldn't be too concerned. Um, we have started the, trying to baby dance every other day um, just to make sure that we have that all covered and um, so I, I don't know I this time with Clomed I did not have as many irritable symptoms as I usually do um, usually I am a raging hormonal yatch <laughs> Um, and this time it wasn't so much, so that was really nice. Um, I really didn't have too much as far as any kind of symptoms. I do take my Clomid at night. I don't know if I have said that before in a different video, but um, I noticed that if you take it at night, you don't have as many side effects, um, obviously, because you get most of them within a few hours, and that's when you're sleeping. So. Um, I actually would take it about 8 o'clock every night. So I was still up, um, but I didn't notice anything this time, which was great. Um, so I took them days 5 through 9, uh, and like I said, today I'm 15. So, you know, definitely there hopefully will be little follies growing. I hope so. Um, this dose is the dose that we got pregnant on, so I kind of have high hopes, even though this is, the first time I'm trying to be optimistic, um, being that we had the DNC and everything was cleared out, the polyps cleared my tubes, all that stuff, so I'm just hoping that it is going to happen for us very soon. Um, I guess that's it. I really haven't had any symptoms um, yesterday and today. I finally had some cramping, um, so I'm hoping, again, that there's follicles growing, which I'm pretty optimistic that there is. So if not, I, I'll be bummed, but then we just try and either up our dose or see what the doctor says. So I'm not going to even think about that at this point. I'm just going to hope and pray that we're definitely moving along in this cycle. So um, on the Weight Watchers front, I went to Weight Watchers today, and I am down another 2.4 pounds. So I have a total weight loss of since Weight Watchers of 6.6 .6 pounds, uh, but I actually have a weight loss since my surgery of 10.6 pounds. So I'm really trying. Um, this last week has been a little tough um, since I had to quit my job and was forced to quit my job. So um, not that I took anything out on eating or anything, but I just kind of cheated here and there and you know I had my ice cream which I know I shouldn't have but I did and I'm not going to lie about it um, I had uh, what did I have Mackinac Island fudge which was absolutely amazing um, I'm kind of nervous because it still is in my refrigerator or my freezer and you know you're tempted I, I don't even know why it's still there I should throw it out but um yeah, so that's that's not a good thing, but you know, whatever. We have to cheat every once in a while and indulge because 
you know, it wouldn't be life without a little bit of indulgence. So I'm not really concerned about that either, especially the fact that I still was down 2.4 pounds, um, which is really exciting. And uh, I did kick butt at the gym last week. Um, this week, not so much. It's already going to be Wednesday, and I have not been there. So I need to get my butt in gear tomorrow and get to the gym. So that is my goal tomorrow. I did, however, clean my tail off. So I know that counts for something, and I know that I burned calories doing so because I was exhausted and sweaty and just, ugh, just tired in general. Um, but, yeah, so Weight Watchers was really good. The meeting is great. I have this instructor. Her name is Alice, and she is fantastic. She makes us laugh literally from the minute we walk in the door until the minute we leave. She's the cutest little um, middle-aged woman that, you know, for Weight Watchers, she's just fantastic. She makes these quirky little jokes. Um, her and another instructor uh, actually sing um, these cute, cute little songs that they made up um, for things that you can purchase um, that's on sale that week. So they make up this cute little jingle, and it's it's adorable. Um, we just we laugh so hard in her uh, in her meetings, but. I, you know, meetings go by so quick, and there's so much that, like, you don't get out of it, but then there's so much that you do get out of it. So, sometimes, you know, I get something more out of it, and sometimes I don't. So, I don't know. I, I like it. I'm going to continue it. I'm obviously losing weight. I'm obviously doing the right thing. Um, so, like, that's really good. I actually wish I was down a little bit more. I'm I'm talking with some of the other women. I'm sorry, the lighting's bad. I'm in my bedroom tonight. But, um, yeah, so I, um, I talked with some of the other women, and um, they're, they're about my size. And a lot of them are losing, like, seven pounds a week. And, I mean, I just... I'm doing the point system the way I'm supposed to. I'm, I'm ha still having a hard time catching up um, with all my points. I'm not eating all my points. Um, and I've added the exercise. So, I don't know. I was I, honestly losing a little bit more weight doing the calorie counting um, the last time. But I think with Weight Watchers, it's definitely the life change. And counting calories your whole life, I don't think it's something that you would necessarily do, where with Weight Watchers, you eat everything that you would normally eat, um, or you can make better choices, like as far as white bread, um, you know, don't eat white bread, eat wheat or whole wheat or whole grain, um, pastas, you know, don't eat floured pasta, eat you know, whole grain pasta or, you know, try and find a better pasta for you. I actually use the Barilla Plus, which has Omega 369 in it, and it's not too bad. I think it's five points for a cup or a cup and a half, um, which isn't great, but it's something I like, and, you know, I don't have to go right to the whole wheat pasta, which I don't think, I can't say that I won't like, but I don't think I would. But who knows? Um, I did find out that I like whole wheat bagels. So that was a change for me. Um, no more, like, onion bagels. No more white flour bagels. Um, uh, brown rice. I love brown rice. Uh, so that's a great grain to use instead of white rice. Um, what else did I do? I think that's about it as far as, like, changing anything. I always eaten whole wheat bread um, or wheat bread not whole wheat bread but um, I eat wheat bread <clears throat> so um, I have been trying um, as far as like chocolate if I want a snack or anything I have been buying the sugar free and that has been delicious I've also been buying Weight Watchers um, chocolates which are just as good as anything else 
so for little nibbles here and there, you know, they're definitely worth it, and they're expensive. Everything's expensive that's good for you, but honestly, like, would you rather pay 50 cents more for something that's going to be good for you, or pay 50, or not pay 50 cents more, and it not be good for you. So I'm definitely for paying a little bit more for a better, healthier food. Um, same thing with meats and stuff. Like I haven't done it yet, but I'd like to change over to organic meats. Um, I've been wanting to do that for a long time, even before Weight Watchers or anything. They never mentioned anything there. They just want you to eat leaner meats. Um, but I would love to get into the organic meats. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I know they're quite expensive as well, but, you know, it for your health, I guess you shouldn't be worried about expense, and you should... <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I dropped uh, the camera, but, um, yeah, so that was my dog snoring again. But, anyways, I'm now upside down. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into the organic meats and see where we end up. So, I'm sorry about the video. I know it's pretty dark in here. I just was so tired. I didn't even want to go sit in the living room. So, I'm going to bed. It was nice talking with you all, and I hope you all had a great weekend uh, last weekend. And I hope you all have a great St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's my sister's birthday. She's going to be 45. So, we're going to go celebrate for her birthday and... Uh, have some corned beef and cabbage with my parents and it'll be all nice so um, I hope you all again have a great St. Patrick's Day and I hope you're all safe and everybody else I will talk to you soon thanks a lot